Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for problem 3.9, the heat sink, on page 115. If you do not have your textbook open to page 115, go ahead and pause the video and open up your textbook to page 115. So, what is a heat sink? Well, a lot of electronic devices use a heat sink to conduct, to conduct heat away from components that can be damaged by high temperatures. Often a heat sink is con consists of conductive materials such as copper. And these fins here provide surface area for heat transfer to the air and often there's fans that circulate air over the fins. Now it is important to note that this heat sink is in millimeters so if you look down here millimeters MMGS that needs to be selected if it says IPS make sure you change it. Um, let's see, we'll also have two section views. We'll have a note here, total exposed surface area. I'll show you how to find that out. It's going to be a lot of uh, clicking. Material is copper, and uh, we have another note in there. And uh, other than that, it's just a pretty routine drawing. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to change it to MMGS, and I'm going to go up to the top, document properties, and I'm going to just check make sure it says ANSI and not ISO. If it's an ISO, change it to ANSI. I'm going to do an extrude boss base on the top plane, center rectangle, smart dimension 120 and 70. Now I'm going to go fast, so feel free to start and stop this video. However, I do suggest that you uh, watch it uh, one way, one time through. All right, now if you look at that, um, I missed the hooks that are going to go on the outside. Uh, the for the screws to hold it in place so I'm going to right click I'm going to edit my sketch change it to the top view and I'm going to go ahead and, and draw in the uh, little tabs that's, that's what they are tabs here on the side I'm going to do that real simple here just grab my line tool click on the line draw a line drag it out here's a little trick if you drag out your line go back to the end point then it turns into an arc Make sure that when you place this arc, however, that it you have these dotted inference lines so you know you're directly underneath your other endpoint. And I'm going to go ahead and smart dimension this. So from the top to the uh, the top of the tab is eight inches. The radius here is four, and the tab width is. I'm sorry, you don't need that, that over defines it. Um, what I was going for was uh, this right here, and this equals three. And we also need to put in the hole for the screw, so I'm gonna smart dimension this circle that I just drew on the center of the arc to be a four. Okay, so, um, now I'm going to go ahead and draw a center line and I'm going to use the center line to mirror this tab to all four corners. So I'm still in the same sketch, sketch tab, mirror entities, entities to mirror. I don't want that selected so I'm going to deselect that. Entities to mirror, I'm going to select the arc, the circle, and the two lines. Mirror about pick one of my center lines, it doesn't matter which one you start with first, and you'll see the copy over there. Okay, now I'm going to do one more mirror, entities to mirror, this time I'm going to select both tabs. Mirror about, select the opposite center line, and now you have all your tabs. One last thing we have to do is go to this trim entities, trim to closest, and you're going to trim away the line that separates the tab from the rectangular part and hit the green check mark and boom there you go now you have uh, your base so let's go ahead and draw these fins I'm going to stay in my top view I'm going to do an extrude boss base select the top surface and I'm going to select the corner rectangle tool now don't snap the corner rectangle tool to the corner of your base. You need it to be uh, off of the corner here because there is a distance there of one and a half. The width of the fins is three. 
and I am fully defined so I'm ready to rock and roll let's extrude this the height of the extrude is 40 millimeters and they have a draft of one degree okay so there's my first fin now I'm going to use my linear pattern direction one and we only have one direction is going to be left and right the distance between them is going to be six and number of instances is twenty features to pattern boss extrude two there's your fins let's edit this material type so over here at material right click edit material Minimize steel, maximize copper alloys, and select copper. Apply, close. All right, so SolidWorks is so cool because you can go up to this Evaluate tab and find out how much is this going to weigh. Well, it's going to weigh 1,289 grams. It's pretty light, but, you know, hey, it's, it's a small part. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and figure out the total surface area that is exposed. So you're going to select this side, you're going to select that surface, this surface, this surface, this surface. Make sure you don't click any edges. If you click edges like that, you're going to have to go in and deselect the edges. And you can rotate your view, you just have to release control. You have to select every single one of these. those uh, screw eye, uh, the holes there in the eyes those won't be uh, in contact with uh, air so you don't need to select them okay and yes I know it is a lot of surfaces but you gotta do it alright so I'm just gonna select that many because I don't want to give you the correct answer you're going to go up to this evaluate tab measure you may or may not have to click this drop down arrow if you receive some sort of an error or it says uh, that it can't uh, the invalid combination of selected entities what that's telling me is I selected an edge select it and hit delete on the keyboard and it'll give you the total surface area in millimeters squared that you have selected you need to take that number and put it on your 2d drawing Okay, so let's get started on that 2D drawing. Make drawing from part. It's going to make me save it. Save it to my desktop as junk. Browse for my template. If for some reason this browse button isn't selectable, put a check mark in that box. Okay, so you can go up to view layout. Uh, and uh, insert it up there. I already have my 3D part open so I'm just going to open it up from here, drag it in. There's my front view, actually that's my top view. There's my front view. Okay, and those are the views we need. Now we are going to insert a section view. So view layout tab, section view, uh, I'm sorry, detail view. We are going to do a detail view here and uh, place it over there. We're going to do a detail view here. You need to make sure that you get two fins, two complete fins inside of your detail view. All right, now this is pretty small. Let's make it bigger. I'm going to select this uh, front view here and uh, I'm going to use uh, custom scale and we can afford to make it one to one this one here select it use custom scale one to one these guys are pretty small let's make those bigger as well use custom scale let's go two to one on these guys we could even make it four to one I bet let's go four to one Okay, so uh, now it's time for me to put my dimensions in, and there's not a whole lot of dimensions here, and uh, I'm just going to do it, annotations tab, smart dimension. <coughs> I'll select the left side, 
and the right side. And you know what, it says 4.27 because I'm in inches, pounds, and seconds. So if you didn't change it to millimeters and grams and seconds, go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to smart dimension the top to the bottom. And the distance from the top of the tab to the top surface there is eight. The height of the fins is 40. Thickness, two millimeters. Over here, the width, and you have to select these endpoints here, otherwise you'll get an angular dimension, is three. Distance between them is six. And from the first fin to the outside of the um, to the outside of the base is one and a half inches. Radius of four. That's my diameter for the whole radius of four on this arc. And from the start of the arc to the edge is three. Okay, so let's just make sure I have all my dimensions in there. Yep, that looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right. Now, down here in your title block, you're going to have to go to edit sheet format and change from inches to millimeters. Right click, edit sheet. We're going to insert a note here that says the material is copper. We're going to also insert a note that says, not there, I'm, uh, yeah, right there. Um, it, we're going to insert um, total surface area exposed to air equals, and then you can put in your uh, number there, millimeters squared. And we're going to put in one more note on the fin that says 20 equally spaced fins draft all vertical surfaces one and then it wants us to insert the uh, symbol for degree so go to symbol degree so all vertical surfaces one degree okay and that is how you do the 3d and 2d part uh, 3D and 2D and 3D drawing for the heat sink.